All right, guys. Welcome back to another video. Um, today we got uh, pocket box. This is going to be a uh, pocket box for uh, July of 2023. Sorry, just drinking some coffee. Just waking up. So. If you guys don't know what a Paco box is, but Paco box is a bi-monthly subscription box um, for basically $59 a month. I think it's like $5 in shipping, comes out to like $65, $65. And yeah, it's full of bushcrafting stuff, outdoors, camping stuff. Uh, there's going to be a skills challenge in here and... Honestly, it's just a really cool box to, you know, help you get outside, do some bushcrafting, learn how to make things, and yeah, so it's, it's, I've been, I've been with them for a long, long time, like five years or more, and he also has a, uh, a, um, he also has a skill pamphlet thing that he does every month too um for like uh skills to learn you know and then you put it in a, a binder it comes with a binder that's pretty cool it's only like uh that was like six dollars a month for that and uh yeah so uh without further ado let's go ahead and see what we got the last few months have been really good, and I know that some of you have been enjoying the boxes that I've sent you, so let's see what we got on this one. Alright, and there we go. It's full. Full, full, full. Well, I think what we'll do is, is we'll grab the card so much room on this bench and the box is kind of big all right so oh my bad not J july june well i am off sorry guys i'm already a month ahead wow all right so there's a bunch of goodies in here you'd like to see I won't keep it a secret <laughs> sorry so if you'd like to um, pause the video so you can go ahead and read that on your own and then you can go ahead and hang out with us too uh, the Apocabox skill challenge so we have one well we always have one but usually this is a tool one which is kind of cool so we'll get into that. I'm not going to go down the line. I think we're just going to grab stuff out of here and check it out. So this is a, a hand reel. Nice. Throw some line on there. Throw it in your bug out bag. Got a little spindle a hole for a spindle here. You can uh, make your own reel. Or you just put it on a stick and spin it with your finger. But uh, let's see here. This is the let's see here. What's he got to say about this one? I gotta find it. This is a circle spoke hand line. The circle spoke this circle circle spoke hand line is perfect addition to any survival kit. Simply wrap with line. Add a few hooks and you're ready constantly to instantly hand fish any creek, stream, or pond you come across paths with. He also notes, I've been waiting to figure out how to make an improvised fishing pole using one of these. Who wants to beat me to it? Awesome. Well, I will definitely be uh, throwing that in the bug out kit in the car for sure. And we got ourselves a bag. I believe this is a fanny pack. Let's see what we got here. Uh, 
This is the Urban Waste Pack. All right, so we got some Velcro, some Molly on the front, two pou one pouch on each side, mesh in the back. We've got a ah, good sized pocket in the back. That's big. On the front. Oh, jeez. Well. Not sure what's going on here. Oh, there we go. Ah, just operator error. And we get the inside of the pouch. Front one. Yeah, you know, you get these new bags and the zippers don't function until you kind of work them in. And we got our main pouch. Got some straps up here on the top here. And uh, you got some more loops here and it's just a big 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 main pouch in the front kind of interesting um, I like this because what I would do is I would have like another you know pack like a little molly pack I just like another bag and I just shove it in here pretty big open space so that's what I would do with it Let's see what he says about that I said it right there for the days when you need more than a pocket everyday carry but less than a get home bag this urban waste pack is just the ticket with enough room for survival essentials your phone and your wallet this pack is both comfortable and unassuming the velcro molly webbing on the outside makes it easy to personalize with morale patches or even a even attach extra kit. Dueling triangle side pockets are perfect for spare change and keys. A hidden inside pocket is a great spot for extra cash, rec receipts, documents. The mesh back helps with airflow to help prevent. A hidden inside pocket. Well. I wonder where this hidden inside pocket, unless that... That's what he means by that. But I don't see no hidden inside pocket. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It's so hidden, even I can't find it. <laughs> I'll, have to, I'll have to look at that later. All right. What do we got here? This is a hand reel. And according to Creek, this is the Big Bubba hand reel. While a little big in stature, this classic floating plastic hand reel can be used to stow any kind of rope or line in a bug out bag. I, I keep one spool with paracord in my truck. The bonus is that you can easily be used as a hand fishing reel if desired. This style of hand reel has been used for centuries to put Fish on the table in nearly every environment in the world. Simply durable and functional, just like survival tools should be. Interesting. And I think it'll float, too. It's like hollow plastic. So, yeah. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I don't usually store paracord. Well, I do. I have rolls in it, but... All right, on to the next item, the Tick Patrol Tick Remover. Those are always handy to have. Nice. So, did you know that over 40% of ticks are now reported to carry some kind of tick-borne illness? This handy tick key is perfect way to safely and effectively remove nasty buggers if you find one has been bedded into your skin forget all the folklore removal methods such as burning the tick just place a teardrop opening and the tick key over the tick slide the key toward the tapered end and pull upward and away if you want you can send the tick 
to TickCheck.com to have it tested for any diseases that you can make the proper course of action. Huh. I didn't know that. So you can actually send it in and have it tested. If anybody wants that website, there you go. TickCheck.com. See? Learned something new today. Never knew. That's what I like about these boxes. You always learn something, something, something new. There we go. Some Squatch Rope. Hemp fire starter. Nice. Peel, cut, ball it up, and burn it. Well, I don't know about you guys, but this stuff's always handy. Uh, hailing from Maine, USA, Squatch Rope isn't the average fire starter. It's made from wax-infused hemp fibers and burns like a beast. It's easy to pack in any nook and cranny and comes shrink-wrapped in a plastic wrapper for added protection from the elements. Simply peel, cut, fluff up, and burn. Ignites almost instantly with the spark from a ferro rod. Nice. You know, uh, I do have a camping trip coming up, and... I've been thinking about if I want to bring you guys along. Um, try some of this stuff out. And I think that's what is on the list. We'll see. Uh, what do we got here? <laughs> uh, Creek. Alright. Got a little scoop. You know, for coffee and ingredients. It's kind of cool. I mean, it's can almost put it anywhere that's for sure this is the wooden bushcraft mini scoop this is the perfect ingredient scoop for your bushcraft cooking kit whether scooping coffee sugar flour or wild wild harvest ingredient everything is better when made using a carefully crafted wooden scoop nice can't go wrong now i'm getting long coffee here oh man all right We've got a box. Mystery box. Let's see what we got. We have a tool. It's got a spoon. It's got a fork. And it's got really, you know, two and two, three inch blade. And we have a can opener slash bottle opener. Hobo tool, I assume. I wonder if it comes apart. I doubt it. Usually they do. Ah, anyway. It's kind of cool. Can never... Never go wrong with not having uh, something like that on you. Um, this is the... Well, what is it? This is the stainless steel two-piece hobo kitchen set. As much as I love modern sporks and titanium utensils, there's just nothing nostalgic about these folding pocket knife style hobo sets. This one is particular, in particular has a really cool feature. It slides apart to make two separate utensils. Oh, there we go. So just push it forward and then you can have your spoon or fork and you can have your knife. Sweet. Hey, that's cool. I'm not going to lie. I will be throwing that in a bag. Let's see if we can get it back together now. So this one on this side, just like that. Put them in. And there we go. Snap it back together. Cool. So, the fork and knife are on one side and the spoon's on the other. Such a great feature when you need to split off one for a friend or different dishes. This kit is solid stainless steel construction and nearly indestructible. Damn, look at the coffee, man. It's done. Oh, I'm going to need another cup. That was not enough. All right. Well, we got two items left out here. Oh, we got a book. How to make and use hide glue, the duct tape of our ancestors. Well, now, that's that's interesting. I wonder if you put a piece... You should have put some hide in there for us to use. 
Uh, oh, look. It literally shows that you can use rawhide chews like animal chews to make them. Huh. That's funny. The rawhide chews from dogs, you can use it to make glue. See, I just learned something new today. Wow. That's... See, this is what I like. This is what I liked about these boxes, man. I mean, who would have ever known? If you want to maybe purchase your own, maybe you can look on that site. I'm not sure. <clears throat> but that's what it looks like if anybody's interested. There's the author, I believe. Yeah, that should be it. So That's really cool. Awesome stuff. We got one left here. What do we got? We've got the Otzi Axe and Steel. So, this is going to be the, the skills challenge here. An Otz Axe. Otzi Copper Axe. Recreate an axe from 3350 to 3105 BC. Incredible. This kit, you'll find the items and instructions necessary to complete your own Otzi Copper Axe. Ex Expect in a much more durable steel. Each of the steel axe heads are hand forged in the USA. I can't wait to see the photos of this completed project when you're done. Watch a video below for a detailed step by step build of this project. The 30 minute video is also packed with great tips and tricks, and I'm sure you'll love and appreciate it. So, cool. Yeah, this is what I like. This is what I like about Apaco. Right here. Uh, great for kids, great for the outdoors. Comes with everything you need. Hand drawn instructions. Just an all around great kit. And summer's coming up, so Creek's gonna be getting really into this. He goes he goes crazy. So there's your blade. Hand forged. I mean, where are you gonna find? I mean, look at that. Where are you gonna find hand forged tools and a subscription box? If you guys are interested in this box, I'm not affiliated with it. I don't make any money. I just love it. You can go to apocabox.com and sign up. This is really awesome stuff. Really, really. And, ooh, that thing is sharp, too. So, it's going to be your blade. This is going to be your ring to fit on the stick. And then there's going to be your pin. So, yeah, cool stuff. Cool, cool stuff, man. So, maybe I'll have a video on that one. I'm not quite sure. It kind of sucks living in an apartment. Maybe when I go camping, I'll bring it with me. So, that's going to be it, guys. Um, and my apologies, that's for the June 2023, by the way, <laughs> July, but, uh, <clears throat> well, we might as well do it now because I do have an idea. I do have an idea. You guys are going to get a sneak peek of the... One of the giveaway items. There's going to be two. I'm going to post a video. You guys can choose which one it is that you want first. I will let that video run for about a day or two. Maybe probably just a day. And you guys can vote on which one it is that you want. And we will go from there. So the one of the items is going to be this urban pack okay this will be one of them so there is your sneak peek of the giveaway all right guys i uh, will probably be posting the videos soon of the other one and um so yeah keep it keep your eyes out uh if you already haven't 
please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell. And until next time, guys, have a good one.